What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. I just took a peek at my opponent's team, and that team is really scary. We got a Dragonite, we got a Garchomp on there, we got an Aegislash, and a Dragapult. That's crazy to me. We're against Slop, um, obviously bringing really cool Pokemon, very uh, very threatening Pokemon, too. Um, Primarina is obviously going to be a Pokemon that's going to be very important to this battle. Um... I don't know who else. That's a very threatening team, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, I think what I'm going to do to start things off is start Blaze Fallon because I got a feeling he's going to start with the Dragapult. And at the very least, we outspeed the Dragapult with, uh, with um, the Shadow Ball. I just chose very intense music for this uh, very intense team. I am scared. I, I haven't been this scared for a Wi-Fi battle in a minute. This team looks absolutely scary on paper. But he brings in the Dragapult just like we predicted, so that makes things a little bit less scary. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I feel comfortable going for a Shadow Ball. If Incineroar comes into play, the answer to the Incineroar is going to be the Pre-Marina. So we're just going to go ahead and Shadow Ball. We're going to play it safe. We should be able to outspeed this thing and please knock out. I know you got really good special attack, knock it out, and you're fail! Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. The beast boost comes into play. And um, he's probably gonna want to go into the incineroar next, in which in return I will have to go out into my um, pre-marina. Anything else I don't mind staying in and shadow balling, especially with the beast boost, that's gonna be pretty pretty good for us. If I were my opponent, I would go with Incineroar, and he does, which is very good for him. Shiny Tony the Tiger. Very cool. Um, no Intimidate, which is a little confusing to me, but it is what it is. We are going to go out into the Pre-Marina here. Going to predict the Fighting type, or not the Fighting type attack, the um, Dark type attack. The reason I'm going out to Pre-Marina is because we resist Close Combat, we resist U-Turn, we resist Darkest Lariat, and we were just uh, Fire Bits, so... We're, we should be okay. We should be okay. Now, what am I going to go out into, you may ask? I'm actually going to go ahead and just play it safe in Hyper Voice. If you go out into the Dragon Side Pokemon, I'm just going to go out into the Vile Plume. Vile Plume is going to be my answer to the Dragon Pokemon because of Strength Sap. So you withdraw Incineroar, you're going to go out into the Garchomp. Dragonite. Okay, I knew it was going to be a Dragon type, which is very bold of you. Very, very bold. This Dragonite is probably running the... Um, Ice the Thunder Punch, but I really don't care. I'm gonna go into the Vile Plume here and I'm just gonna straight sap, even if you do Dragon Dance. We should be able to live in any attack from this um, Dragonite with the exception of a Fire Punch. You're gonna go on to this is a special Dragonite, so this makes me feel even better. Makes me feel a lot better. I am afraid of the Aegis Lash for obvious reasons, but I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go ahead and strength sap. I'm gonna have flamethrower. Oh, okay. So you are running the fire type attack, and that's my bad. Bioplume, I'm sorry. But at the very least, we're gonna get you some really good health recovery with Strange Sap, and that's gonna give us an opportunity to go into the Garchomp and or go out into the Garchomp and uh, kind of uh, just you know knock it out. That's a lot. I'm actually cool with that. So fire type attack came out. I'm gonna go out into the pre marina. You got the you got the thunder type attack. I didn't play. I didn't think things through clearly. One of the things I have realized since coming back, I really got to think about my moves before I execute. If I do that, I should be okay. Now, obviously, I'm not going to stay in against a Dragonite, especially not against a Fire type attack or um, Electric type attack. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go out into the mean shell. Blaze Fallen is useful. Blaze Fallen is definitely most useful. Um, so I really don't know what I want to come out to. I really, really don't know. Part of me wants to go toxic. We're going to go out into the Thunderbolt, and then we're going to toxic. That's, that's what we're going to do. We should be fine. When Vile Plume comes out, you're going to go for the Electric type attack. I knew it. And I'm playing, I'm reading you like a book at this point. And then we're going to toxic. We're going to toxic. That's right. Of course we get paralyzed, and I bet you five bucks we're gonna go ahead and get the fully para here. 
We're gonna toxic. We're gonna toxic it up. Flamethrower it is. We should be able to live this, no problem. Just don't get paralyzed. Okay, beautiful. And don't miss the toxic. Awesome. Awesome. So you've been poisoned, and that's good news for us. So that means you can go into the ice type attack or the fire type attack, which I really don't mind. Because regardless, whichever one you go out into, I'm going to bring in the Blaze Fallon. And I'm still kind of questioning myself. I really am. I really, really am. <laughs> uh oh, check this out. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I really need the Vile Plume. I really do. Vile Plume is my defensive ball. I also need the Corviknight. So I think the answer is going to be the um, drag, the Blades Fallon, and just hit the Shadow Ball. Do I need Min Shao? I obviously do for the knockoff. So I think what I'm going to do here, I don't think I need the Obstagoon. The yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say no to Obstagoon here. I I kind of I really hate to get rid of any of my Pokemon if I'm being honest with you, but I really have to. Here comes the Obstagoon. Here comes the Ice Beam. We should be able to take that easily. Okay, and then what are we going to do, you may ask? I'm going to take the time to um, obstruct. I'm going to obstruct. I'm going to whittle this thing down a little bit, little by little. I'm going to obstruct here. I know you're going to try to go for the attack. I know you. Okay, so you withdraw. I shouldn't have obstructed. I should have just gone for the facade. I don't mind the Incineroar because we got the close combat for this thing and we do outspeed. We do outspeed. And actually, I think um, on my first Wi-Fi battle with this team, I mentioned that my speed was 85, but I think it's 95. So we're going to close combat, get rid of this thing. We really don't want the Incineroar around, especially with um, Blaze Fallon. And this actually opens the door for a Blaze Fallon sweep. Do I want to do that? I do. I really do. Also, apologize. I apologize about the mess if you can see that. Um, I'm actually going to cut that off. <laughs> You guys don't need that much information. The only message to see is right here, if anything. But Garchomp is going to come out. A facade is going to be beautiful against this thing. We should be able to knock out with the facade, given that it's 140 base power after the burn. We'll be fine. Check this out. You're Dynamaxing. Of course you are. Okay, this um, this is a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. I love Garchomp, man. The first time I laid eyes on Garchomp, I fell in love. I outspeed you somehow. That's half. Rough skin is a thing, obviously. We're probably going to go down here. And I really don't mind that. I really don't mind it. Because now we can play around the Dynamax. How, you may ask? I got, a, I got an idea. So, um, granted... <laughs> Obstagoon outsped. My base speed with Obstagoon is 161. Mian Shao is easily gonna outspeed the Garchomp, and we can simply hit this thing with a um, knockoff. I think knock. I really want to go high jump kick, but given that he's Dynamax, I really don't want to risk missing. I really don't. We're gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna do it. I don't know when, since when have I become a very timid player? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I really don't know. Okay. So you're probably going to go out into the ghost type Pokemon next. And that just sets up the door for um, Blaze Fallon to sweep. We're going to sweep with Blaze Fallon. We can really clean house with a mind blown unless you go out into the Dragon Knight, which I kind of hope you do and you don't. It's very smart that you didn't, to be honest. I really want to see the animation to um, Mind Blown. But for now, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go out into the Vile Plume and just let Vile Plume go down. Vile Plume has done its job. What I am afraid of is um, I want to see if this thing is either physical or special. And that's not going to reveal that to us. But what is, is this next turn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the opportunity to straight slap. I really want to strength sap, kind of get see see what this thing is gonna do a little bit. You're gonna go shadow sneak, aren't you? You have to, especially with what you just did right there. 
Shadow Ball. Okay. We're obviously going to go down because we're not specially defensive. We're physically defensive. But that answered the, an that answered the question that I really needed to know um, the answer to. So I'm going to go out into the Blaze Fallon here. I understand that you're probably going to go out for the... Uh, I, I really want to mind blown, but I don't think it's smart to mind blown. Granted that he has a Dragonite in the back. So you're going to go out into the King's Shield. I get that. I really do. Assuming I get rid of the Dragonite, then I will um, go ahead and hit the Mind Blown. It really sucks that I haven't been able to utilize this thing to its full potential. Because of the last two Wi-Fi battles. It almost makes me want to do a fourth Wi-Fi battle with this team, but I don't think I am. Shadow Ball is going to get rid of this thing. Um, Dragonite is going to go down next turn also. Oh, this thing is pretty bulky. The Fire-type attack was the play. And now we're going to pay for it. We're going to pay for it. We're playing kind of sloppy. We really are. Oh, yeah, you didn't like that. <laughs> we should have gone for the uh, mind blown. We really should have. And that's on me. That is definitely on me. Um, what I really want, I need pre Marina for obvious reasons. And I also, I, I don't mind going out into the Mian Shao because even after the King Shield, the knockoff should knock this thing out. So now at this point, uh, Mian Shao is my win con. Min Shao is going to be my win con, even against the Dragonite, which we should be able to knock it out, to be honest with you. The only reason I don't see, um, see us knocking out the Dragonite is if he knocks out my Min Shao, which I'm not going to let that happen, if I'm being honest with you. So we're just going to knock off here. We're just going to knock off here, and then, yeah, we we're, should be able to get put this in the bag. We really should. You have no way you're going to win this, bro. <laughs> you should just give it up. Just give it up. Because what I can do here, I can honestly max Knuckle. Unless you're running Hurricane, then that would be a little bit odd to me. But I really don't care about the Corviknight. We're going to get rid of the Corviknight here. You can go for whatever you want. Corviknight is not needed. And then uh, Min Shao should be able to come in and pick up the sweep with knockoff. I don't even remember what item I knocked off. Extreme speed. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. And what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna play this out. We're gonna roost. <laughs> we're gonna roost. And uh, I just gotta secure the win. We'll take this. We we have special defensive investment. There you go. Now, if I were fully physically invested, then that would be a problem. But obviously, it's not. There you go. And this uh, this Dragonite should be going down soon. Probably going to hit us with the Flamethrower. And um, I'm just going to go into the Pre-Marina. No, I don't even have to go into the Pre-Marina. Okay. So, obviously, Aegis Slash is going to be his next best bet. Um, I'm obviously going to have to U-turn. <laughs> I don't have anything for the Aegis Slash. I do have, I don't even got anything for the Decidueye. Decidueye comes out. It is a little bit faster than Primarina. It has to be. It is faster than Primarina. Sword Dance comes out. Sucker Punch is a thing. So we gotta be careful for that. But I really don't foresee this Decidueye knocking us out. I really don't see it happening. We're just gonna be in Shao. We are gonna knock off here. We are gonna knock off. Even if you do hit me with the Sucker Punch. We resist Sucker Punch, so we should be fine. Knock off is gonna knock you out. There you go. This is Joy is a cool Pokemon. I just wish it was really, really good. Which it can be. It can be good. But it's, it's very, um, it's not likely for it to be very good. Aegis Slash is going to come out. He's probably going to King Shield. And I'm honestly just going to pre Marina here. We don't even got a Dynamax, truth be told. I, like I said previously, I don't like Dynamaxing unless I absolutely have to. Or if I, I... I don't like Dynamaxing first. So a lot of the time when I Dynamax second, I lose. But it's, it is what it is. Oh, that did a lot. That did too much. 
We're gonna hyper voice. We should be able to outspeed this thing. And that's game. There you go! Free Marina's hyper voice coming in a little bit of clutch there. And uh, Slop, nice seeing you. Nice uh, playing against you. I hope you come across this video next time or one day and you have yourself a great day. It's Daddy Mac. Um, sorry for that sloppy intro. It's your boy Daddy Mac. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.